Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you for tuning in with Dr. Leisha, the preacher. <laughs> so I think I'm going to um, let this one be called a past life check and ancestor temperament reading. <laughs> past life check and ancestor temperament reading because <clears throat> I, and it's not that I'm just such a big time past life person you know but I believe that the spirit is eternal our insides our eternal life our internal life is for eternity our internal life with an I is eternal with an E. So with that being said, our spirits live forever, forever. You know, this flesh goes back to the ground. But our spirit is forever. So we may have spiritual life before we even had this natural life. And after this natural life, our spiritual life will continue. So we may have some spiritual past life experiences, issues, and things that um, need to be uh, considered during this lifetime, during your life right now. They need to be taken into consideration. So... And I'm one of those people, I believe in, like, uh, the holistic of life. You know, the, 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 the complete person. Your past, present, future. You know, the complete person. Mind, body, and soul. Everything about you needs to be considered. That's just, you know, how I look at it. So let me go ahead and light my candles and get set up for my reading. So how are you guys? <laughs> I hope you guys are fine. I hope you are doing fine. I'm doing fine. We have Bible study tonight. Bible study tonight. And, um, and I'm excited about it, you know. And I said, let me do a reading before I go, you know. And we're still studying Genesis. I think we're all the way up to like maybe Genesis chapter 16. And I still add to my Dr. Leisha the Preacher Oracle deck. As we are studying Genesis, as we are studying, I'm adding to my Oracle deck. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let me kick off this ancestor and past life reading with the writer, uh, writer weight tarot. I'm just going to jump right in. And then I'll add as the spoon, the spirit, <laughs> add as the spirit. Um, okay, well, it looked like we're being told to slow down, slow down a little bit, you know, the Knight of Wands usually jumps at things move quickly where well, we're being told to slow down let me see from what angle are we being told to slow down well <laughs> we, we we're being told to move with caution move with caution to um because this is the chariot card movement and this is telling us how to move move with wisdom, move with caution, you know, move with, um, with knowledge, 
Yeah, it says think it through more. Yeah, we need to think it through. You know, be... Um, let me see what I'm... Yeah, I mean, it's fire energy. Fire energy. But we just need to pace ourselves. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's get the card on the top. The Ace of Wands. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, so... There's definitely movement going on. And we're moving at a steady pace. But the movement, every move we make count. Every move we make count. And like I said, you know, it has a internal and external effect. Internal and external effect. Meaning, um, I was just saying something about internal and external a moment ago. And to me, this card right here uh, supports that. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to take just take those three cards for now. And let me go to um, switch over to. Let's go with Dr. Leisha the Preacher. Oracle deck for right now. Let's go with that. Actually, let me switch over to Mystic Beauty before I do that. Let me, because I just want to see what Mu Mystic Beauty has to say about these three cards. I mean, it's almost like as we move through time, through this life, as we move through this life, this natural life, through time, we can pace ourselves. We can pace ourselves, pay attention to all the lessons learned on our journey because our ancestors, our life purpose, our calling, you know, got our back. Got our back. Yeah. Our ancestors, you know, through the Holy Spirit, all through the Holy Spirit, everything is spiritual. They have our back. Our whole spiritual team have our back. Internally, externally, they got our back. As we move through time, as we, you know, live our purpose. So we got the Eight of Cups in reverse. See, when we pace ourselves, then we're not just aimlessly wandering through this life. You know, when we pace ourselves, when we move with purpose, you know, when we allow our spiritual guides, the spiritual team to uh, guide us, we're not aimlessly wandering through this life acting like we don't know what to do and where we're going, who we are. You know what I mean? We... You know, we don't need to act like we don't know who we belong to. You know? We don't know when to transition. You know? Let's see. Here, Here's the chariot again. See? We got the chariot in the upright here. But then it's in the reverse here. Again, you know, um, with the Eight of Cups, with the Chariot together, again, you know, we need to be more confident in what we're doing. Be more confident in what we're doing. You know? And that's with the, with the Eight of Cups and the Chariot together, 
they compliment each other saying basically that, um, you know, when we're confident in what we're doing, then we know where we're headed. You know, we at least know how to figure out where we come from and where we're headed. Okay, so I'm going to turn it th this way. All right. Then we got the four cups. Dang, all these cups. Let me see how many cups we got. Oh, okay. We got two wands, two cups, the four cups. Discontent, boredom, apathy, uninspired is all that there is. Self-absorbed, feeling left out. <sighs> oh, God, you know. Um, basically, our ancestors, you know, our past life experiences and things like that are there to help us stay on track, to help us stay on track. But when we don't use them, when we don't pray, and when we don't know our history, have a legacy, generationally whether in the kingdom of heaven or a kingdom of earth you know we will live as though there's no real meaning like we don't know what to do you will be bored when you don't have a sense of purpose we don't when you don't utilize your um your gifts you know, your spiritual gifts, when you don't know your purpose, when you don't know why you're here. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? When you don't know, when you haven't, I mean, it's because it's, when I say sense of purpose, because it is a sense, it's a, uh, it's instinctive, intuition, you know, that internal part of you. You know, it's that internal part of you that shows up on the outside. The internal part of you that shows up in eternity, shows up in the natural. It shows up in both places, the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of earth. Both. Here's a card to come out. A mist or wetness. A mist or wetness based on Genesis 2 and 6. And it says, waters all the ground to reproduce or grow. We must have movement. We must move through this life with Fire, passion, intention, purpose. And when we don't, we just feel lost. And we don't make the right decisions. At the bottom of the Dr. Leisha the Preacher Oracle deck, we have Adam and Eve card. Adam and Eve. It says, Mother of all living, to resist sin and be fruitful. And multiply. Genesis 3 and 20. So it's almost like, you know, we have to go to the beginning. We have to start at the beginning. You know. And sometimes in order to grow... In order to grow, in order to move, in order to use the energy around us, within us, you know, we have to start at the beginning, know why, you know, remember our contract with God, remember why he sent us here, you know, led up to be tempted, led up to be tempted, whoa, okay, it says, Genesis 3 and 1. 
Now the serpent was more subtle and said unto the woman. Okay, so Eve was the one that was tempted, you know. It, it was only her. She was the only woman at that time. So she was, you know, it was inevitable, you know. Job 1 and 8. Uh, has thou considered my servant Job? God himself offered up. That was Job's purpose, was to be offered up, to be tempted. Eve was going to be tempted. In fact, she was in position to be. To be. Uh, Matthews 4 and 1, Jesus led up to be tempted. Yeah, Matthew 4 and 1. Jesus, I think, had just come off of a 40-day fast, 40-day fast, 40 nights, something like that. And right after, he was led up to be tempted. That's what the Bible says. He was, those are the words. He was led up. So some of us are sent here. We are led to be here. We, we're here for a purpose. And, you know, our ancestors, our spiritual team, you know, are behind us, within us, you know, we're, we're never alone on this journey. We're not alone on this journey at all. That's why we don't have to be aimlessly wandering around, lost. You know, um, acting all bored and can't make decisions. You know, we don't need to be acting like that. You know, we don't need to be stuck. You know, we have the the ability to. Um, what was I about to say? We have the ability to to grow. We have the ability to grow and keep it moving. You know, sometimes we have to go back to the beginning, you know, and reread, you know, our contracts and see what's going on. Because we are chosen to be here. We're chosen. We are led up. We're led. So let me take a look. We have, um, like I said, we have fire energy. We got this fire energy going on. We got uh, fire and water, fire, water, and I see earth and air. Okay, so we have a lot of the um, elements out here on the table. But a lot of us, according to these cups that we have out here, um, you know, we're feeling, um, some of us, you know, we don't, we don't have confidence in what we're doing here. You know, we don't take our dreams seriously. Maybe some of us don't feel like we have support. We don't feel that inner, um, well, well, there's three cards. I'll take it. Uh, we have the divine feminine, the mature, mature divine feminine, uh, divine feminine, mature divine feminine, because we do have the, You know, a mist or wetness card, earth energy. And we do have mother of all living. Okay. So the divine feminine uh, is very in tune with her past life uh, commitments and um, obligations and responsibility. Um, very in tune with it. Um, divine films are. You know, 
It's like a lot of us understand what we're being led up to be, you know, dealing with. And we understand our commitment. We understand our uh, past life commitment and journey. We understand. And we have both the Ace of Wands and the Ace of um, Spades, the Ace of... Uh, uh, the Ace of Clubs and Spades there. And then we have, I always forget the Garden card, the Garden card. But it's two, four, six, eight, the Eight of Spades. Eight of Spades. Which, again, we have a lot of fire energy again. You know, a lot of fire energy that keeps us, keeps us going, you know, keeps the movement. But it's up to us to uh, pace ourselves and to keep ourselves well informed. Let me look up this garden card really quick. Card number 20. The garden, eight of spades. Public, open, and social. So again, it's up to us to keep ourselves, you know, informed and um, open. Um, our, keep our eyes open. You know, pay attention. Read the fine, the fine print. Read the details. Read the details, the fine print. Um, go through our life. And make sure we're covering all bases. Covering all bases. That's what a lot of that fire energy come in at. You know, covering all of our bases. Two, four, six, eight. The eight of um, space there. Yeah, yeah. We're looking at long-term commitments here. Long-term meaning not just this lifetime. Yeah, we may have other contracts that go kind of like when you lease a car or you buy a car and, you know, you start having car trouble, but you still have more payments to make on your car. Even though you have trouble, it's acting up. You still got payments. You can take your whole car in and trade it in. But the current car that got problems still have terms and conditions. And these terms and conditions will roll over into the next part, the next car. You can have debt terms and conditions that will roll over into your next purchase. The old car is gone now. You and your new one, but you still kind of got some obligations to the old one. That's how our life cycles can be, you know? So, yeah. Wow. Mm, interesting. So, yeah, we got to be a little more open, a little more alert, a little more open and alert about and keep up with our, uh, you know, social, spiritual, earthly contracts and stuff, you know? We're not here just haphazard, you know. So let me get an angel message at this point. So this is a different type of uh, <laughs> reading, you know. Past life. <laughs> Ancestors, you know. Because again, I mean, you know. When I look at this garden, it's full of life. Full of life. For eternity. <laughs> For eternity. Oh, okay. Let me see. Did I, did I just... Did I shuffle when this came out? I don't know. Let me just do it again. Let me shuffle again because I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, so... If you like a personal reading on your past life experiences, you know, like... It says the best is yet to be, no matter where you are on your life journey, your eternal, 
eternal life journey. And your eternal life journey starts internally. It's internal and out. So, you know, the best is yet to be. No matter where you've come from and no matter where you went now on your eternal life's journey, the best is yet to be eternally. Not just this lifetime that we're in. Not these 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 years that you're living right now. I'm talking spiritual eternity. Your best is yet. Good things have happened, but even better things will be presented in the future. Spiritually. Sometimes we just talk about here on earth all the time. But we have a whole heavenly kingdom. A heavenly home. That is prepared for us. Ready. You know. It's already ready. It's already prepared. We may have been there already. You know. Right now we just here on this earth at the moment. But our eternal home. You know we've always had it. Always had access to it. A surprise is on the horizon. A surprise is on the horizon. <laughs> Expect a nice surprise. I'm just going to leave that right there. I don't know what your surprise going to be. <laughs> Beautiful souls. Now this came out too, not too long ago. Beautiful souls. Our souls are beautiful. They're eternal. Our souls have already been here, is here now, and will be here in the future too. We're not limited to this natural experience at all. So that's why it's good for you to keep in touch with where you are on your journey. Where are you on your journey? Your eternal life journey, spiritually and in the natural. For generations to come. For generations to come. And see, and that's where your ancestors come in. And they're saying that, you know, they got your back. They got your back. You know, all the life and energy that you need to be successful here on earth. Your ancestors got your back. Mm -hmm. And you're eternal commitment, spiritual commitment, you know, is with God, your creator and maker. You have a whole heavenly host and spiritual team that has your back, that guarantees that your best is yet to come. It's like a guarantee. It's like a guarantee. And keep on living. Because you have a surprise on the horizon. A surprise. Mm -hmm. But you got to pace yourself on your life's journey. Pace yourself. Keep your eyes open. Pay attention. Uh, pay attention to details. You know, check off your list as you go. As you accomplish things. Okay. All right then. Well, that's it. You know, nothing too deep today. Um, nothing too deep. Just uh, keep it moving. Pace yourself. Um, you know, ask your creator, your maker, your spirit team, your ancestors, why are you here? <laughs> so you won't just be wasting time and being bored, you know. All right, guys. Love you. If you need a reading, email me at Dr. Leisha the Preacher. Dr. Alicia the Preacher at gmail.com. And if you'd like to leave me a love offering, um, my cash app is cash is dollar sign Dr. Alicia the Preacher. Click like, subscribe, and the notification bell. <laughs> okay, now bye. Bye. <laughs>